Welcome back to part 6 of our basic to advanced floor plan mini series. Enjoy the video. Now all of this information that I'm entering here is live across the project and it automatically updates as you go along. So you notice here on the conceptual plan there are no tags in place but that doesn't mean that the rooms do not carry across. So the wonders of using Revit and BIM is that the room information that you enter in one place affects the whole project. So if I zoom in this location here I can find my room and it's the exact same room so with that on my conceptual plan I can always do a tag room and tag all not tagged and then I select the room tags and then I can hit apply and then all of them tag in an instance I'm just going to undo that for now and then I'm going to renumber the rooms so for the room numbers you cannot use the same number more than once so this is room one this is room two if I wanted this to be room two and I enter two it will come up with a warning so that's to prevent duplicate numbers in your scheduling so what you'd have to do is make sure that you monitor your warnings in your project to make sure that any inconsistencies don't happen. So what I'm going to do now is renumber these rooms to be more appropriate for this project. So now all of the rooms are numbered. In the same light, I'm going to number and tag all of my doors and also windows.
Okay, so now we have all of the openings numbered. We have the windows numbered and tagged. We have the doors numbered and tagged, and they all follow the naming principle of using the room name itself to dictate what the door is or the window is. So for instance, for the kitchen, we have a number of 103, and for the door, we're using that 103 as a prefix, and then this is door number one, and then in the case of the other door, it's that 103 prefix again, and then this is door number two. So now that the basic schedulable items are tagged, let's do one more thing and go to uh, annotate tab, tag by category, and this time we're going to tag our walls. Okay, so that's all the walls tagged. Now the nice thing about tags is that they are scalable. They always keep the same font sizing regardless of what scale the view is. So if I change this scale to, for instance, one to 20, all of the tags keep the same font size. Let's go back to one to 50. The other unique thing about using Revit and Vim is that I can go back into my concept plan and then I can do a tag all. So if you have any number of duplicate plans, you can do a tag all. So I can tag all of my doors. I can tag all of my rooms. I could tag all of my walls and windows and they would automatically tag all of them. What I want to do is select the leader line. Then I'm going to change this down to six millimeters and then hit apply and then all of this view will be tagged in a split second so we'll hit apply and they're all tagged now obviously if you do that you do need to go around and do some due diligence to make sure that the tags aren't overlapping at default they do go to the center of the objects that they are tagging and so if you have multiple items overlapping you'll just have to go through and adjust them like so if I undo this, Control Z, Control Z, I can go back to a plan which I've already tagged, do a selection across all of them, and then filter just to have the tags. So untick room separation, untick casework, so on, and just have my tags. And then hit OK. I have all of my tags selected and in the appropriate location. What I can do is then copy to clipboard and then go to whichever plan you want to, and then you can go to paste and aligned to same place. As soon as you press that, the tags will be placed in exactly the same location as the original plan that you copied them from. So that's a nice trick if you're detailing multiple plans. You can leave most of them blank for the most part for quite some time until you've done one plan which you're happy with. And then you can do a selection of the appropriate items and then you can copy them through to another plan. And that's the end of the video. Be sure to check out the other parts to this basic to advanced floor plan mini series. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more regularly released Revit content. I'll see you in the next one.